uh, hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my brand new playlist and in this playlist we are going to do the hands on on node.js with microservices i already have created another playlist where, where i'm covering node.js i mean different microservice patterns where we talked about the event driven design cqrs database segregation pattern composite pattern all these patterns we have already discussed now what we are doing is we are doing a hands on with the help of node.js like how to build a microservice in node.js how we can think about scaling monitoring testing deployment of these set of microservices okay so we will use either nest.js or express to build our basic microservice we can choose nest.js because that is providing a typescript support and you can also write express js with typescript okay why what are the minimum characteristics which uh, a microservice should have so these are four or five different principles which microservice adopts okay like microservice should have a zero configuration self healing auto discovery and fault tolerant so these are some of the principles which microservice uh, inbuilt will have i mean based on your design if you are building a microservice then those microservice must have all these things zero configurations means like you should be able to deploy microservice very easily you should not be configuring lot of things like this is the port it will be connecting to this is the ip and this is the address these are this there should be automated configurations using which you can deploy the applications and can and through that microservices can talk to each other okay fault tolerant the system should be tolerant and gracefully handle the miscommunication which are happening while talking to a different microservice okay self healing it's a it's a like whenever there is a normal outage or failure while uh, booting up a particular service then after some time that microservice should be able to self heal itself so that it can come up after some time auto discovery uh, a new service should automatically identified whenever they get introduced in the system so this is like a, a service discovery and service registry in the microservice pattern wherever the new service get added the other services will become aware okay this is the new service and they start talking to one another if service is dying they deregister themselves from the service registry okay so when we talk about toolings and all in the microservice world it's all about you write front end back end different services which are talking to one another now we have this cool technology which is called docker and kubernetes on the local stack of your system you can still use this docker and docker compose to orchestrate these different containers so that they can talk to one another like node js is running uh, and there is a database is running in another container there, an there is another microservice running in another container and they are able to talk to one another through one single network okay so these are just a simple example like i was talking about service registry and service discovery there will be a different microservices running on a different ips so these different microservices will register themselves to the registry server so that whenever a new microservice want to talk to any of the service like i want to talk to auth service i will not ask each and every service okay are you auth service or are you auth service i will go and talk to service registry from there i will get to know okay where is the auth service where is the card service where is the product service where is the inventory service okay then simple examples like api gateway we have a different api gateway kong aws api gateway azure apz and all right they are providing all these inbuilt features where you can put a rate limiting uh, or so you can set a threshold i mean you can actually write a rules so that a particular clients only will be able to connect to your api gateway rest you can write your lambdas you can write some http microservices which can directly talk to the api gateway okay so here we have a lambda lambda will further uh, define the rules okay for this particular api endpoint talk to microservice a b and c okay when we talk about the complex microservice example every microservice will be uh, a single source they will be talking to their single source and the failure of a single microservice will not impact the system okay it will not be responsible for making the failure of another service because these should be self reliant and whenever there is a failure is happening they should be able to self heal themselves okay uh, so we'll talk about the basic principles how to design a microservice and the basic fundamental is microservice they they ha should have 
their own data source they should not be like sharing a data source so if one microservice is going down uh, it's getting impacted everywhere it should not be the case right so here these are different sections through which we will talk about we'll talk about how to build a basic microservice in node.js then we are not going to talk about the basics monolith microservices what all different patterns because that i have already covered in a separate playlist having 20 to 30 videos i covered each and every topic in width okay here we are just going to talk about the hands on only how we can actually do the same thing on our local stack using just a docker compose we will write docker compose.yml and try to create the containers and try to establish a communication so that we can clone CQRS, we can clone event driven architecture, we can clone the API gateway architecture and service discovery, service registry, a proxy pattern, shared database pattern, all these patterns we should be able to do it because we are using Docker Compose where you can actually create a multiple containers, you can spin up the RabbitMQ, MySQL, MongoDB, Node.js, APIs and all. Okay. So this is what we are going to do and we are going to use Docker so you should have a Docker in your system docker already installed on mac you can use a docker desktop or on the windows and linux you can just install docker through the command line and i think docker desktop is available for windows and mac both for ubuntu you just need to write some command lines to install it okay so once docker is available on your system we should be able to create containers we should be able to create a docker build docker build at runtime will create containers we will be able to create a network of the containers with the help of docker compose that is the next thing we are going to talk about we will explore more about writing the node.js microservices for if you all if you don't have a knowledge on docker then you can just search for the playlist i already have covered what is docker and how to work with docker in separate playlist okay uh, thanks everyone thanks for watching and if you like this playlist please subscribe my channel